Welcome to Survivor of the Fittest. I am a messenger of God. Why did God create many different languages? That was something that God wanted me to know. He wanted me to answer that question. Why did he create many different languages? I know that this was in the Bible, so I went back into the Bible and read this verse, Genesis 11, 1 through 9. God confused the language of the whole earth and scattered them abroad over the face of the whole. Basically, God's people, he wanted them to spread out, to expand, you know, to venture out, to build, to learn, and stuff like that. But these people did not listen to his word. They did not obey to God's words. So what they decided to do was to settle in the city called Shinar, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. They settled in the city and they build on that city. Uh, not only did they build the city and whatnot, they built a tower. Okay, this tower, can. it was said that it could reach... Uh, well, they were trying to build the tower to reach the heavens. So it was pretty much tall, okay? A very tall tower. And it was also said that these people, God's people, were, you know, practicing adultery and basically practicing astrology and stuff like that, which go against God's word if we're following the Bible, okay? So knowing that these God's people disobey him, God was upset, so he wanted to teach them a lesson. This is all according to the Bible, mind you. He decided to confuse them with their language. He gave them all different language. Okay, one group here get this language, one group there get that language, and then he wanted them to scatter around the world after that, which they did. They eventually obey God's word um, after he confused the language. Of course, when it happened, they were confused. Like, what's what's going on? Before, my brother, I can understand you. But now, brother, I, I don't understand you. <laughs> so imagine that time back then when God did that. So my understanding when I read that Bible verse in the story of why God did it, I believe... God, I don't feel like it was a punishment because this is what he wanted in the first place. He wanted this to happen, okay? He wanted them to not settle. He wanted them to expand, to evolve, to adventure, to see what else is out there, okay? But for them, they settled. And he didn't want that for them, for his creation or for his people, Based off what I read, but God wanted me to know why he did it. And he knows that He written, like it's written in the Bible. And I read it, like I kept re reading the same story over and over to understand, okay, is there something more to this? Because why ask me that, right? So I went back and I read the story over and over a couple of times, a few times to understand and my understanding from that is that when they decided to settle in this land that they chose to settle and build this city, Shinar, um, it made them, in the, hmm, how can I better explain this? It made them vulnerable. And there's nothing wrong with being vulnerable. I feel like their vulnerability is like they were naive, which we all know God loves that of when it comes to his people. He likes when they are naive or innocent, but it was more so like they were getting big headed. Okay. They were getting big headed because they was focusing on structures and building this and that and learning that, but they were still stuck in one spot. So they were still ignorant. Okay. But God wanted them to not be ignorant. You know how I know that? It's because he wanted them to scatter around the world. He wanted to wanted them to learn, wanted them to evolve. But when he confused the languages, it causes a division. It causes separation. There is no unity in that. Okay. When he confused the language, it allowed mankind and the God of uh, the people of God to evolve, expand, learn.
and found and find other ways to communicate. Even if their language was different, they found other ways to connect and not just rely on one thing. So I guess in a way, God didn't let, God did not like when they settled because they were becoming dependent on what they knew. That's all they knew. God wanted them to know more. Then I, then I had to ask myself, why now? Why should I know why you created many different languages? I really feel like something's about to occur. I don't know if it's going to be like, oh, God's going to, you know, change the languages. He's going to do something. Because he really wanted me to know why did he create many different languages? And what I got from the story I, re I read from the Bible, Genesis 11, 1 through 9, God's people disobeyed him, his orders, what he wanted them to do initially. And at the end, they did it. They eventually did what God wanted them to, wanted them to do. But he had to interfere to make it happen. Hmm. So I asked myself this. Knowing what I know on what's to come, there's a lot of things that's going to come, you guys. What do God have planned? He created many different languages to this day that still exists. But what do God has planned right now? Like, I really feel like it's going to go backwards. Like, we're all going to have one language. I know how that sounds, but I really feel like there's something there. Like, in the beginning, at one point in time, I created many different languages. I want you guys to learn different cultures. I want you guys to expand. I want you guys to evolve. I want you guys to scatter around the world. I want you guys to find other ways to connect with one another, find other ways to communicate with one another. And many many time many time has passed since then, right? Time has passed since then, I should say. Since Genesis 1119 occurred. I feel like now that time has passed, God is going to revert how things were back then before he confused the languages. We're all going to be living in one way. We're, going to communicate, we're all going to communicate the same. We're all going to communicate the same. But it has to do with judgment, too. I know. So, God is going to revert all languages into one. That is what I'm getting. He's going to revert all languages into one language. Not only that, it has to do with judgment. He wants us to connect. He wants unity, not separation. Before he did, because he wanted us to understand something. But now he wants us to unite. Less judgment. Less ignorance. More understanding. Now you know. Now you can see. Now you can understand me. You guys, I really feel like we're going to go back to one language. I'm dead serious. Welcome to Survival of the Fittest. Our world's going to definitely change after that. God. You know what he's doing. We all going to go back to one language, you guys. You heard it. You heard it here first. Survival of the fittest. I am the messenger of God. See you next time.